Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure unboxing and review, we're going to be looking at the 2013 Transformers Limited Edition Linkin Park Soundwave. So, what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox it live in a second and have a look at all the contents that come inside this. We're going to do transformations between both modes to see which way he displays best. And of course, because he's Generation 1 Soundwave, we're going to do some comparisons with him and a few of the moulds or figures that have been released, shall we say, using the same mould. There we go. So let's have a look at this then. So for people who've never seen this, again, it came out in 2013, actually directly on the 23rd of September. And it was, I suppose the best way to word this is it's like the first ever crossover because obviously we've got the Balvintron, which is just a complete redeco there of Soundwave as well. And this is the Linkin Park version. So let's have a look at it. We're going to slide this bit off the bottom first and foremost. We've got lovely, lovely deco on this box. It's a really shiny black with gold, of course, all over it. This is actually raised, so it's not just put onto it. Um, yeah, it just looks like a great big sound wave, doesn't it? You see, there would be the battery case. There would be obviously the back of his arms, Decepticon logo, Linkin Park logo. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, it was limited to 2,000 pieces when it came out. And for those of you who've not seen him before, there he is. So he is made up of gold and black plastic. He looks very much like a Karamak. And again, we've got this lovely reflective um, artwork. So let's show you this first and foremost. So if I can bring this closer, there he is. There, of course, is Soundwave with laser beak. And I'm going to bring the writing into focus. I'm not going to read it all, but for anybody who wants to read it, they can pause it now and read that. I just quickly want to show you this as well, because this is brilliant. So this is what was at the front. You can see now there it's taken out. So on the one side, you've got the Linkin Park Transformers mix there. And then on the back, you've got, of course, G1 laser beak. Brilliant. It folds out and you've got a couple of postcards if you want to use them as that. But obviously not with it being limited edition. Right then, let's have a look inside him. So this obviously, thankfully enough, has already been opened, but... Since I've brought it, I've not even got it out of the packaging yet. Now this looks like crushed velvet and it feels a little bit like it, but it's not. It's just flocked purple plastic tray. Let's have a look what else is inside here. So we've got the rest of the accessories and we've got the instructions as well, which is brilliant because it's same again. It's just a bigger bit, well, smaller version. There's that part, there's Soundwave. We've got his transformation instructions there. And then on the back, we've just got the other things you just saw, the back of the tape. And then, of course, we've got some transformations for some of the cassettes. But with it being G1, they're not super difficult. And again, I'll be showing you pretty much all of them, to be honest, on this video. So let me just keep this box nice and safe for now. And I'm going to stand him up again quickly. There he is inside his packaging. So what I'm going to do, because I know it'll all fall out on me, because that's the look that I have. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take him out and the cassettes. Now, one interesting thing with this, and there are no stickers. There's no factory stickers applied. There's no stickers that come with him. This is just literally how he came. Let me just pop his feet down for a second and then I can stand him up and then I can carry on properly with you. So there we go. Yeah, this is literally how he came. Let's just bring this down just into a little bit more focus. Lovely. Absolutely stunning. Thankfully, unfortunately enough, it's not the gold plastic they used to use years ago. So I've got no worries of this guy falling apart on me. He is literally, look, he's just sound wave. There's the battery cover. There, of course, are his missiles. Let's take them out. And his fusion cannon, etc. We're just going to slide these back in. There's gold there for the top bits, which of course you'd use when he's in his alternate mode. I'm just going to stand him like that for a second, to be honest. In fact, no, let's do the transformation process then. So we're going to turn the head around, carefully pop that down, carefully slide the hands in, roll these again, carefully round to the back. Is it going to click in place? Nice and careful. Fold the feet up. The feet still feel die cast, to be honest, so that's nice. And then again, super careful with this. There is one of the only, well, it's tamper graft on, so stickers that is on this particular figure. As I said, the rest, he doesn't have any. He didn't come with any. They didn't send any without. And there, of course, there is the Linkin Park 
um, logo as well. There he is in that mode. Brilliant, beautiful, love it. So, so funny. Just nice. Caramac Soundwave, full eject working, obviously. I'm going to keep that there for a second. Let's have a look at a few of the cassettes. So, Buzzor and Laser Beak are absolutely identical, obviously, and you can't tell them apart because they're identical. And without the stickers, you aren't going to be able to see any difference. So, I'm just going to transform one of these instead of them all. And let's pull the head out carefully. And there we go. That really does look, it looks like food. <laughs> it does, it looks like caramel or it looks like some form of chocolate. So there's another one, I'm gonna keep that at the same because of that reason. Right, here would be Ravage. Let's have a quick look at him. Let's fold this down and the feet. This is so stiff, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'm just gonna give you a bit of a look at what he looks like there. So yeah, I'm not gonna pull them down. They're super, super stiff and I hope you understand. I'm not gonna pull that down to break it and then what we've got here is of course rat bat and let's go with this then so let's fold all these eight nice and careful this one looks even more um fragile shall we say this is transforming absolutely fine though let's fold his feet down and again this is all die cast in the middle yeah pull his ears up pop his head up brilliant Right, that's some of the cassettes done. Let's go back to the robot mode then. And we've got all, I've got all the bits for the cassettes there, all the accessories, but I'm not going to pop them on just yet because they look exactly the same as what you've already seen. Let's just go back to the robot mode then. Because again, once you've seen a sound wave, you've seen them all. And I don't want to delay this video any longer. I just want to show you. I, think the, the, I suppose it's quirky, isn't it? The quirkiness that he actually is. Let's fold these around, bring the head back up. I'm going to connect his weapons, though. Here's because I'm going to keep this guy out on display with the rest of my uh, Transformers uh, Soundwave variation. So that can go up there. We can then separate this. I've got one of these out ready. These are gold as well, by the way, so they're not silver. They're gold. I'm going to pop that in his hand. And I'm going to finish up just by doing some comparisons of, first and foremost, there is, of course, the original G1 Soundwave. And as with most of them, I've got that horrible front tilt, which you can see that sometimes they do. This was the next version of him that was released. This was obviously the slightly altered mould. And this guy is known as Sound Blaster. Let's see if I can counterbalance him just for now. There we go. And again, there's videos for all of these on my channel if you want to watch them. Let's see if I can get them all in. I don't think I'm going to be able to. This was the next one released. This was the shattered glass version. Then, funnily enough, it was this guy, the Caramac one. And then the latest one is another. Well, this is an actual official crossover, which is the Balvintron version. But there you go. That is the 2013 limited edition Linkin Park Soundwave. Hope you enjoyed looking at him. Keep your ideas and suggestions coming in guys and of course please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment and don't forget to subscribe.